Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. Jump off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, love, laugh, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Fenn on ubnradio.com. And welcome. You are tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa every Tuesday at Naturally High Noon here out of the Sunset Gower Studios. Universal Broadcasting Network. And on Thursdays on my syndicated station, my CNBC KCAA AM 1050 out of Loma Linda. And you can always call to free to listen, 832-999-1050, or download the free app UBN Radio to listen anytime. And hello to my many, many thousands. Thank you so much, listeners now all around the world. Ireland is a hot bed of Dr. Marissa fans, no doubt thanks to Dr. Mary Hensley. And we have new fabulous listeners in Sedona, Arizona, Bahamas, and everywhere that I get to travel going to San Francisco this week. So we'll, I'm sure we'll have more listeners there. And thank you so much for all those who have found my YouTube channel. I am up 26,700 views from last year this time so i am very very grateful and to all of my new radio you can see and hear listeners and uh, i'm sure one of the reasons why the views have gone up is because of the great looking guests that i have on my show today is no uh, exception to that rule in fact my special series Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa has been quite the hit where I wanted to talk about sex in a positive way. I wanted to, uh, you know, have people get more comfortable with talking about orgasms and romance and relationships and um, how to get more pleasure. Yes, I am determined to make pleasure a G-rated topic and sometimes a G-spot rated topic too. So last week we had our first time virgin appearance of men on this series. No thanks to my uh, assistant producer and for these particular shows, my co-producer Jarvis Essex, who's on camera today and he gets his own applause. And after running the series... For, how come your applause is longer? <laughs> After running the series for, uh, what, about six, eight months, he said, how come we never have men on the series? So uh, that's why we had men last week, and we brought them back. We have the fabulous Jimmy. Hello. How's everybody doing? And he gets applause. <laughs> <laughs> he braved it back. And Josh, what's up? what's up? Thanks for returning and uh, being part of this panel where I get the men to tell it like it is. And Jarvis actually created most of the questions. He was quick to point out before the show today that he did not author the question that I started off with, which was just to qualify you on how many sexual experiences you had. So he did, he's not to blame for that. That was all me. <laughs> so the first question would be, did you get in trouble for last week? I did not. No. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Then we will try to get you in trouble today. No, I'm kidding. So what we, we did not even scrape the surface of the, the questions, but we got some really great answers last week on, you know, the male perspective on things like pleasure and where and how and why. So we wanted to continue on, and I'm going to jump into the first question, which is a pretty heavy one. How do you feel about cheating? And I'm not talking about, uh, about on cards. I'm talking about cheating in relationships. And can men really be monogamous? So you've got, 
you know, I don't know if it's uh, media highlighting uh, or it just happens all the time, but you have pretty visible, you know, Tiger Woods, uh, many men who it's like, why? You know, you have such a fabulous relationship. You have everything. Why would you go and do that? So, so, so the two part, how do you feel about cheating is the first one. And uh, can men really be monogamous? Jimmy, let's start with you. Uh, I feel about cheating. I think we cheat because there's something missing. Um, you know, we kind of, we search for something else. We're not getting it at home. You know, when maybe we're not in the right relationship, we feel stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of people are in relationships and they're just there just to be there. You know, they're not necessarily happy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's, you know, the man or the woman may, you know, just search for something else. You know, the excitement, the new relationship. Mm -hmm. And, but I do believe that people can be monogamous. Um, I believe that, you know, if you really work at it and you really try, you can definitely stick to one person. All right. Josh, um, take it pretty seriously, you know, especially if it happened, you know, to me in a relationship. Um, and I do think that um, men can be monogamous. OK, um, there's a lot of good guys out there. And um, I think it's just goes with the person, you know, if there's a um, responsible person and they make the decision that they're going to be with that person and you know what I mean? They follow through with it, not okay. just... So so I'm going to put the moose on the table and ask you... Okay, great. Do you or anyone you know... Yes. I'm helping you here. <laughs> cheat. Ha have cheated. Do oh. you or anyone you know, intimately, like personally, not intimately, but oh, personally... Of course, of course. Che cheated. Of course. Okay. And did they stay together? Like after it was found out, was it possible to continue the relationship? Um, I think maybe half of them yes and half no. Okay, because that's a good safe answer. Yeah, because well, because you know some people it's just not acceptable and they're strong enough to move on, mm -hmm. or some people might feel, hey, um, I invested in this relationship and we're this far. Is this something we can get through? Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it depends mm -hmm. on the person who got cheated on. You know, whether or not Their that's ability. gonna yeah, because they're the ones that are are kind of are they gonna want to work through it? Or are they gonna right. you know? Right. Leave that person. Right. Yeah. Jarvis. Um, I think that um, I think we cheat for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I've heard often that women sometimes step out or cheat because they are um, not maybe being emotionally fulfilled. They're not being emotionally yes. fulfilled. At Physically least. fulfilled, but not emotionally fulfilled. Exactly. OK. And sometimes, you know, men can be physically fulfilled, but still go out and and cheat. Um, Why? It may be a lack of something um, in that man's confidence. See, a lot of times I think we have been conditioned to equate sex or having sex with women as being a man. This is what makes men men. Mm. So if we don't mature and, and get out of that mind state, if you're in a good relationship and this, and this it's a good relationship, mm -hmm. but you're still not feeling like you're a man so you'll go out and and sleep with another woman and that conquest if you will or that feeling hmm. gives them a false sense of oh this is what it feels like to be a man oh, so that one woman sometimes doesn't you know it's a lack of something within that man i believe mm -hmm. why a lot of men cheat mm. yeah so so you're not feeling if you're feeling emasculated you go out and uh do a conquest and right. then you make you feel more like a man josh is sort of maybe, maybe. no that's a pretty good yeah it's so, a pretty good yeah. Yeah. yeah and a lot of that a lot of that is comes from the conditioning that we see in movies and things like that. You know, the guy that has the money, the guy that's the good looking guy, he gets the women and, and in the movie, you know, he's the man. Mm -hmm. You know. And more women are attracted to him because he's the man. Mm -hmm. You know. We mm -hmm. were discussing this right before we got on the air, but sometimes I've I've had numerous guys that have been married tell me that, wow, once I got married, women that I had tried to date before I got married that wouldn't give me the time of day. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm married, they're interested in me. And they uh -huh. know I'm married. Yeah. But before I was married. Yeah, so what's up with that? But that doesn't mean they have to go and sleep with them. Right, correct. <laughs> but what is, but like you say, what's up with that? Yeah, what's up with, well, oh, so you're blaming it on the Well, no, <laughs> <Yeah>. no. We, <laughs> <laughs> We well, want to know. We yeah, want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 know. What, what's up with that? Well, I, I I know that I get hit on more when I'm in a relationship than when I'm not. And so 
I, I asked that same question and someone told me it's because I looked like I was more juicy when I was in the relationship. And so I, you know, gave off more pheromones or whatever, you know, the vibes. And so, so I got hit on more possible, uh, might be a combo thing, but, but let's go back, you know, before that explanation, if you're not getting fulfilled, okay, if it's not doing it for you, why don't you just leave? Why do you have to cheat? I mean, why that? Cause that, that, that betrayal, that sense of, you know, my heart was broken. I don't know how many people I run into who constantly say, I don't want to have my heart broken again. And, and they, men and women, like men will go back and they're still making up for the, the one broken hearted relationship from high school and they're 50 years old. And it's like, you, you won't let yourself be vulnerable because of something that happened 40, well, not 40, 30 years ago in your lifetime. Same with the women. So, so why wouldn't a man, if they're not happy in the relationship, just leave instead of cheat? What, because because you do have a reputation of cheating more so than women do. Well, I think when you get in a relationship, uh, you get so intertwined. I mean, finances, living situation, cars, you co-sign. And just to up and leave that person is just you fear to go through all that whole process. So you think you could just fulfill it on the side, you know, but eventually, but it's really not solving any problems whatsoever. But that's just your like, I think it's just like the quick way for us to, you know, maybe get what we're looking for, mm -hmm. you know. Because well, well, that, that, but, but then is there a real difference in sex drive between men and women? Is it, is it just one of those facts that y'all, th you know, if you do it, it's like, it's not the same as if a woman does it. If a woman does it, it, you know, the intimacy and the oxytocin and you get, you know, bonded and with a guy, you have sex and you're there's not as much bonding is that is that about is that does that sound true jarvis <laughs> it sounds true i don't know how <laughs> true it is I, I think men um i think men do become bonded and 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 have emotions and become emotionally involved as well i don't think it happens as quickly maybe mm -hmm. as women mm -hmm. it takes time because i think we look at other a lot of other issues when it comes to allowing ourselves to go there emotionally. Okay. You know? So, so, so teenagers, I understand teenage boys, that's all they think about. That's all they're going after. And that's just, that's in their wiring. As you mature as men, does that change? I think, I think yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Because when you, then you'll have like, uh, experience in relationships and mm -hmm. you can find out what you don't like and what you do like and so you might be looking for something except you know instead of just that just sex you're actually looking for a type of woman or you know what I mean something okay. more complete okay. maybe something more sophisticated than that so what's a perfect relationship what what what's a perfect relationship Jimmy um, what are you looking for I think that's it just it, perfect. That's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go. You know what? I'll, I'll go. I think compromise. I think compromise. Oh, that's I heard, so sexy of a word. I heard. I heard that from some um, <laughs> guy who was married, like you know, a lot of years, and uh -huh. they said him and his wife said it was compromise. And I really think that's it. Like, if you like to golf and she likes to do this, then be flexible with each other. Let him do that. Let her do that. It's like a. You know, you guys have your own separate lives that you do or the stuff you, she does with her girls, mm -hmm. he does with his guys. And then you have your date night or whatever. I think it's, you know, compromising and then also spending time together, making sure, especially if you have kids, mm -hmm. you know, when, uh, couples that have kids, especially it's like they don't have as much together time. Yeah. So they have to keep that up as well. But let's that's nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not the answer I was looking for. Oh, uh, yeah. And if you, <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say here? <laughs> I'll feed it to you. Here we go. Okay. And if you've just tuned in and you're listening to part two of The Laughter on sexual healing with Dr. Uh, Marissa, and I have fabulous panel of hot men with me today. We are missing Clyde and Ramon. Unfortunately, they couldn't uh, make the part two, but uh, that way we got Jarvis on the camera, which is good. And we're talking, you know, we're just talking about men and women and 
And I'm trying to figure out what what is uh, urban legend and what is actually real. And the questions, for the most part, are from my co-producer, Jarvis Essex, of this particular show. So you can blame him if you don't like the questions. <laughs> um, but but I, I guess my, my thing is, what you know, why do you want to have a relationship with a woman? Why? Like, what are you looking for? And 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 how does that all, you know, do you go, OK, it's time. I want a relationship. And this is what I'm looking for. Or 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 how does that happen? OK, Jarvis, you. <laughs> well, I think that it, it. What is that attraction factor? I think men are very visual. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, sometimes I say men are more visual than women, but then I've heard that may not be true. Hey, hey, well, you, you know your, <laughs> right. your host right. boss right. is one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so I think initially it's the attraction. You know, if, if I see a, a woman that I'm attracted to, then I'm more than likely want to get to know her better and so forth. So initially with men, it's the attraction for sure. Okay. And is that attraction based on model looking, you know, skinny, big hooters, big booty, <laughs> I don't think so. I think that you know, depends. what is. Um, yeah. Depends on the guy. Yeah. yeah. It depends. Like everybody's okay. attracted to but, but that's, different. Yeah, but that definitely. is what is put up as, you know, no. so, which is, which is really sad for people who don't fall in that category. Yeah, no, I don't, I think, you don't yeah. think that's it. No, you think there's someone for everyone. There's, you think there's an, an attraction. Of, yeah, okay. guys. Some guys okay. like um, nerdy girls. Dirty, and so, if a nerdy girl's trying to be all that, like you know, whatever that other type of girl, Hooter she's girl? not. She's not, you know, turning on the guy that's actually looking for that type of girl who okay. she really is. You know, so, okay. so I that's think good really, to know. I'm gonna bring up that's a point. Like if there is somebody and they think that they're hot that makes them not that hot <laughs> <laughs> well, throw it out there i'm serious so if you Can see a, if you see a beautiful woman oh he wants you, to <laughs> <laughs> you see a beautiful woman and say she is a model but she knows that she's got it you know she just knows and like she's almost like to where the point where she's stuck up then that's not that's that's not attractive at yeah. all that's you a know? good point yeah. that's a good point i've seen beautiful women that are humble that would blow a lot of the models out of the water mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah. it's funny too because i because i do coaching most of the beautiful women that i know don't think they are beautiful mm -hmm. which is a, another kind of weird mm -hmm. thing but i do i do and and if you're one of those who think who have blind faith in how they are because you think you're so hot <laughs> you heard it from jimmy like you're not all that so just tone it down please so we can all like relax <laughs> right jarvis is all happy yeah. she, he, he he that's the one thing that was missing from last show <laughs> that he wanted to have put on here for sure so there you go you had your moment <laughs> We gotta be so, honest. are right, you are you right. done with the cheating question? Did you yeah. want any ask any more about that? No, that's good. Yeah? That's good. yeah. Okay. Have you ever had your heart broken? Anybody? I have. Ever yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Have you? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so um, if she uh, was it because of they cheated? No, it was just actually it was. I think I did it to myself. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> you broke your own heart. Yeah, I was just you know just prideful. I was young, you know, and I uh, actually left a girl that I was in love with, and you mm -hmm. know it actually backfired, and I was heartbroken over it. You know, what uh, I mean? so I just are you still? Just, do you still talk? Do you? Did you? Does she know? Oh no 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 no! I I moved on since then, but just at lack of maturity, I think you know not not. Maybe feeling, I can do like a. a a Maury show and bring her on. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Josh? Um, what's the question? Sorry. Heartbroken? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, just because it, the relationship ended and um, you had high same hopes. Same thing. I think it was, I was young and um, I think at that time you don't really like you think the world is ending mm. <laughs> you know what i mean like when yeah, you first in that i think time. with guys maybe it gets us at a younger age because yeah. we don't know how to handle our emotions and we're just like all in then oh no the world's you know yeah so now it, it does it has, has, has it and six in, months later we're cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel so bad for me because uh, i'm oh fine <laughs> yeah because that was the follow-up question is it has it impacted you in your current relationships does that still play in your head and and you, you you miss it or you're trying to replicate it how does it impact jarvis yeah it, it, it definitely impacts i uh, initially got hurt when i was 
oh god i was in college mm. and it really hurt me and i mean i was i didn't eat lost weight that type of thing and it impacted me going forward because i was of the mindset well you know i'm not gonna get hurt again so i put a wall up you know mm. so i'm not i'm not because it hurts so and and because i'm a sensitive guy it really really did a number on me so i had said i'm, I'm not gonna get hurt again mm -hmm. and i didn't know i put a wall up mm -hmm. but what happens is when you get into different relationships other people will show you who you are you show you back to yourself mm -hmm. so what happened was as i got into other relationships women would often tell me you know you have a wall up i can mm -hmm. feel it i can mm -hmm. sense it and i would try to be in denial oh no no i'm good i'm good i'm i'm, I'm the man no, I'm. <laughs> but over time I did see they it. They called your yeah. They called, yeah, they called me mm -hmm. out on your it. belief yeah, system. Yeah, and I didn't realize that I was I had that wall up. Mm. You know, that was blocking mm. me from really yeah. opening myself up. And men, yeah. I think because, like he said, we uh, uh, Josh said that we don't know how to express our emotions and we're not sometimes in touch with those emotions. You don't know mm -hmm. what to do with them, so right, you're just like, I don't right. want to deal with it. Right. I'm not going to deal with it. Right. I'm not going to be shove hurt it again. under. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it's so it's it it, it makes for just so much unnecessary pain mm -hmm. in the future and i just love i uh, this concept of i a book of romance and i talk to my daughters about this you know you have a book of romance in your lifetime and there's there can be many chapters in it and some of them are short <laughs> mm -hmm. and some of them are longer and maybe you only have one chapter and every chapter is fabulous it has ways you you learn about love and life and and romance and yourself and so I think we unnecessarily uh, hurt ourselves with this, you know, if I get my heart broken, I'm never gonna put myself out there again. And cause if it gets broken, I'm never gonna recover. And it's like six months, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> if I was young, I was in college. So. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even now we make such a big deal out of breakups. I mean, it's like this giant, like blame and shame and blah and it's like you know what it's always this and better so if this one didn't work you know what you don't like you know what you do like and you put it out there and the next one's going to be better mm -hmm. and if it's not then you move to the next one it's going to be better <laughs> okay we're not going there um so how important is sex and love making in a relationships in a relationship we kind of covered this last time what number was sex mm -hmm. i think it was yeah. anywhere from one to three but it was top in three. the one top three mm -hmm. are you done with that question yeah, okay. is that okay mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is there extremely important yes it's do you important. Think, <laughs> we, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got that okay, okay. just so okay we, just we want women okay to know that. one more time one more time <laughs> it's very important All right, if you're a woman and you're listening to this show and you're watching this show or you're hearing this show men most men really think that sex is important in a relationship. So if you're not having or open to, or if you're having lots of headaches, then use that as a measure of how to make the relationship better. I love it how most women, when there's a problem with the relationship, they'll call me up and they'll say, we need couple counseling. And my first question is, when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> mm. And what were they saying? And what? they'll say, oh, I can't remember. And I go, um. go back and do that and then call me up. I just saved them a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, and <laughs> because <laughs> it's, it's, you all, y'all are kind of easy that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're I mean, very really. Yeah. 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 Feed us. Yeah, we're pretty much done. Yeah, yeah we're pretty much done. Yeah. yeah, I mean, really. I know. Really. All the intellectual men are all bristling. <laughs> Now, you know, that's not me. But most men look. I, and okay, I'm sure we want Clyde good was, conversation yeah. as well. But yeah. you know, right in the food, order. Sex, well, right. Right. Well, right. 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 Food, <laughs> sex, yeah. conversation. The intellectuals have the wall up. <laughs> <laughs> sex before or after the appetizer. <laughs> okay. Anyways, next is. Uh, do you think? There is a perception in our society that men aren't in touch with their feelings or know how to express their feelings. We kind of talked about that. Yes. Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that's a society thing or do you think that that's a genetic thing? I think it's a society thing. I think there's lots of men out there that are sensitive and in touch with their emotions. Mm -hmm. And then they have labels that get put on them. Very true. For yes. that. Mm -hmm. For that. Yeah. I, I have a dream 
of a world <laughs> where we all can express the diverse parts of us. And we're all unique, all 7.3 billion of us. And we have different varying levels of, of feelings and intellect, and it's all good, it's all beautiful. And these guys might agree, we sometimes feel pressured, you know, to like, so we're not as emotional because we won't be seen as manly, mm, you know? Yes. So we, we want to like, mm. you know, we're, we're hardened <laughs> almost. Mm -hmm. you know, uh -huh. so that's true. Conditioned to be hard. Well, <laughs> it, well, that's, that's very true. I've, listen, I've had situations. You didn't get it. What'd you say? Conditioned to be hard. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Can we get an applause? Uh -huh. <laughs> that was not in the script. In. <laughs> I got one in. In. I got two in. <laughs> okay, then. Um, go ahead. So I was. <laughs> so I've had situations where um, I've expressed the fact that I'm sensitive, and I and it's interesting because. Um, to follow up on on um, James' comment, I've had women say, "Well, oh, no, I don't, I don't want a sensitive guy." They equate sensitive with being weak, mm -hmm. and I believe that is a conditioning of our society. Mm -hmm. It goes back to that conditioning. Mm -hmm. So they saw that as a weakness, and I'm like, "Well, that has nothing to do with being weak. I mean, that means I'm in touch with my feelings. I, I feel, you know, deeply. It, doesn't have, it hasn't. It, How it, deep? <laughs> very deep." <laughs> <laughs> Deeper, I wanted him to say that too because his Atlantis. voice is <laughs> deeper than what? Atlantis. <laughs> okay, don't start. Honey, it, it, it's, it's already, already started. started. <laughs> I'm sorry. That that ship left the dock and it is the motion in the ocean. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. But 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 what I was saying was I found myself almost wanting to bring that back in mm -hmm. and be a little bit more you know, because she was mm -hmm. seeing me as weak, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we do adjust, you know, depending on how that woman. What that expectation is. Right, what that is. expectation is. Yeah. yeah. See, see, this is, and this is, again, Don Miguel Ruiz, he was on the show and he's my relationship uh, teacher. If a person is 80%, um, it, if you like that person 80% of the time exactly the way they are, then it's a match. And if you don't, if you spend more time trying to make them something they're not, not sensitive, or you want them to like yourself, then it's time for a change. You know, that's the formula. So, mm -hmm. so, so you, you guys have to take ownership too of who you are. So if the woman saying, I don't want you to be sensitive, and you're like, okay, I'll be more manly, you don't have to do that. You can go, mm, that's me. And uh, I, I, I'd love to be with a woman who appreciates that. So the communication goes both ways, right? As you were saying. So you have to kind of own your stuff, right? All right, right. You can't always blame the woman for not reading your mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I think I scored yeah, well, a point there. Did I get a point there? No, no. <laughs> we can't like go and like start be the one that's crying and stuff like that. Take it to take it to the extreme. We can yeah. be like, oh, no, no, no. yeah, like, no, no, oh, no, right. no, yeah, right. no, no, no. We're not talking about some, that though. Right? No, but, but there has to be a place it, for that. But that's the extreme. If you go further down the line, it's still an issue. It's still there. Mm -hmm. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. So it's. Well, I'm, I'm very sensitive too. You know what I mean? And um, so. When you say that, yeah, I mean, still touch. Yeah, I think a lot of men are very in touch with their feelings. Yeah, and, and yeah, and I think that's a good thing. Too, I, think. I think it's yeah. a good thing. It's a good thing, good thing but we, but we want the space to be able to express that mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. feeling like the woman's judging like, you, right? Or that mm -hmm. we're weak, or, or now you can't protect me, mm -hmm. or now I don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. where the issue comes in. Yeah, but, yeah. and I think more when more men would express their emotions yeah. if they felt safe they had the doing space that. to do that okay that's yeah. a point point yeah. well taken yeah. and we're right on you're you're so busy talking here and being part of this that you forgot <laughs> <laughs> about the sponsors so we're gonna be back in two and two peace and peace out to thank the sponsors who are responsible for letting us have this fun time on the air we'll be right back 
Did you know that women are capable of over 11 different kinds of orgasms, and yet 87% of women are sexually unsatisfied? Did you know that 9 out of 10 couples desire deeper intimacy in and out of the bedroom? If you desire more pleasure, better orgasms, and a more sacred sensual connection, visit DeviWardTantra.com and get your free female orgasm guide to uncover the top three blocks preventing you from having the pleasure, intimacy, and orgasms you crave that's debbiewartantra.com want to be surrounded by creativity and art you can take home with you then come to the timeless treasures craft festival in huntington beach june 11th to 14th where over 120 artisans will be saluting American arts at an unforgettable summer craft festival, Southern California style. From jewelry, clothing, and accessories to beach decor, sports memorabilia, and photography, it's family fun for everyone, including story time and a crafts table for kids of all ages, plus gourmet food sampling, free parking, and free admission. So see you June 11th to 14th at 6905 Warner Avenue, Huntington Beach, California. California. And if you mention Dr. Marissa, you'll get a free gift. For directions and details, go to www.timelesstreasuresboutiques.com. That's www.timelesstreasuresboutiques.com. Yes, thank you, Davey, for sponsoring. She's been a co-host of mine on Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa. If you've missed any of those episodes, please do check out my YouTube and my iTunes uh, past show log. And I'm very happy uh, almost a half a mil of those podcasts have been downloaded in the last three years, starting my fourth year. So very happy about that. And uh, yes, my, uh, my discount at the craft fair i will be there too so if you have a chance go down there i knit and i actually have sweaters and ponchos i know that i that i uh bring to my friend uh and surrogate mom dolores's booth to sell there too so but we're gonna go way out of craft and into back into sexual healing with dr marissa with my fabulous panel and on to the next question Um, is there a difference between, oh, 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 here. What is the sexiest thing about a woman? About a woman. (laughs) What is the sexiest thing about about a woman? What is it to you? And see if there's any, we'll see if there's any there. uh... I think, um, maybe the way she carries herself might do a lot to a guy. Um, I think I agree with Jarvis. Like it's definitely when we see, we, you know, something we like, we definitely know it. Mm -hmm. And then. From beyond that point, you can kind of see a girl's attitude and the way she just acts and stuff like that. So I think that is definitely, like you said, if you see the girl stuck up, it's going to be like, ah, it's it's the turn off. But if you see a girl who's just real graceful and, like, to me that, like, I'm like, wow, you know, now you can't stop looking at her. I think, like, attraction, but then right after that, you know, it's the way they uh, the carry, the, carry themselves. Carriage. I think that's a lot. Carriage. A lot. Okay. Cl- um, Clyde. Jarvis. <laughs> um, like I said earlier, I know we, we're definitely physically attracted um, to women. It's uh, women are beautiful, but I think the the main thing for me is the eyes and the smile. Hmm. Um, that's the most sexiest thing. Um, I don't, and I think that you can. For me, I think I can see that their their personality and their their attitude comes through in their smile and their eyes. Mm-hmm. So. You know, the eyes are the window to the soul. Mm. So the eyes do it for me. Okay. Jimmy? I'd have to say what attracts me is when they're, like, optimistic and just full of life. You know, it really attracts me to them. You know, they're just happy. You know, they're ambitious. And, you know, just I really like that. It's just huh. Okay. So you just heard from three men, and, and none of them, unless they're lying, <laughs> uh, uh, said the, the things that they're, they're stereotyped is what uh, is attracted. And I think that's important again because men are individual just like women are and there is someone for everyone. And, uh, you know, just be yourself. I, I mean, be your best self, <laughs> right? If you're not, not if, you, if you're attracted, if you wanna be attractive to Jimmy 
and you're a complainer, then join my 21 day fast from complaining with Dr. Marissa and you'll be more optimistic (laughs) and more attractive. (laughs) There you go. Um, What's the difference between having sex and making love? How much you talked before? Like, <laughs> how many words have you said to the women? Like, we've said ten words together. Okay, that's sex. We, 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 we've been talking for two weeks. Josh, okay, maybe this is the perfect <laughs> bite right there. That was good. You, that was like you set the, trap the for me? perfect. Really? No, oh. that is like okay. the brilliantest answer, oh, right? Really? Cool. Awesome. Right? Thanks. How much? <laughs> how much conversation? So, t- is it ten? Ten is sex, and mm. over ten is making love. No, I mean, ten was. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you can land that in 10 words, you know, that's like, you can sell that formula. <laughs> You're answering oh that question is, uh, uh, that <laughs> earlier question, you just totally bashing your own answer. It is all about sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, help me out here. <laughs> that's why I looked up. No, it. well, you asked, <laughs> you asked how to tell the difference, you know? You're right. So, you're yeah, right. I think that has Jarvis, a lot to do with it. What's uh, the difference? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay. I mean, <clears throat> maybe it does boil down to how long you've known each other. So mm-hmm. that could be a good qualifier. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think making love is when you really do, you're looking for a future. You, you know, you have emotions and feelings and you, you care about this person and you want to. You know, you want to have a future, I mm-hmm. think. Or you're, at least you're looking for a future with someone. Something I think, more than... Mm-hmm. Right. With mm-hmm. sex, it's just sex. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and... And goal, orgasm, period, finish, pleasure. end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Momentary right. pleasure. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And how long do you think it takes to warm up a woman? This is my question, not Jarvis's. <laughs> just to clarify. But don't <laughs> help them. Because <laughs> we've talked about this on the show. This is this is for me the most important question on the show. Here we go. I would say about you know ten ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. All take right. Take your time. Take your t- take your time. That's ten minutes is taking your time, time, women. Probably more. I don't know. Maybe if you spend a whole day with a girl, you could be kind of warming her up all throughout the day to make it you know even to where she's kind of already. When you get into okay, bed, no, no, of, let's, is that what you're talking no, about? Oh, no, you're talking no, about the... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're okay. talking about... Um, you're naked. Yeah, yeah, so we're naked. Okay. Um, yeah, 10 minutes, that's good. I'm ten just going to agree with good. Jimmy. <laughs> Jarvis, you already know the answer. Yeah, 10 minutes is a safe answer. So Ta- yeah, 10 minutes is a safe answer. But you know what? It does depend on the woman. It, it, it really does, does depend on yeah. the woman. Yeah. However, they've done studies, and in order for the internal organs not the organ the internal the external organs sexual organs to be stimulated and reach the same state of arousal that y'all take 90 seconds to do it's 20 to 45 minutes Hmm. so if you're a man and you (laughs) think that 10 minutes is an awfully long time and then you're wondering why the woman doesn't want to jump. You might want to warm up. Now I'm not talking. Actually, let's qualify. It doesn't have to be from naked. Once you know, start looking at your clock as soon as you take your clothes off. <laughs> I mean, it can start with your clothes on. But that whole foreplay is so important to women. That's the number one thing I get all the time from women. It's like why. You know, I'm not even close, and they are ready, and so that that's a huge disconnect. All right, what are you going to say, Jarvis? Well, well, I see it there. Well, on the behalf of men, before <laughs> we get to that point, we're already um, ready. <laughs> Probably 15, 20 minutes before mm-hmm. you follow, so that now uh-huh. you're going to spread out another twenty minutes. <laughs> that we're just ready. Hey, great point. Yeah, you I understand? Guess, yeah, that, yeah, that's a point. little hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Yeah. It's a lot hard yes. to deal with. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what happens is, mm-hmm. so when we do get to that point where we are now ready? engaged, mm-hmm. then we can we can come. Ready to launch? Yeah. Yeah. Because we've been waiting, we've been holding for an right. hour. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. So I think that's sometimes why guys are... <laughs> 
<laughs> ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then we go back to your answer on compromise. There might be something to be said because last week you also said what you want women to do more of is to, right? Mm -hmm. So so this this can be, you know you know this is why we're talking about this. I mean you could literally put a play together on this. Mm -hmm. If you really, you know, and again, I, I did hear you last week. We don't want to talk about it during because that's a turn off. But maybe at, n not even after or maybe at dinner beforehand. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we, you know, and just sort of planned out the evening of mm -hmm. what was going to ensue. That'd be kind of sexy, right? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what's your thought on marriage? Do you believe in it? And do you ever want to be married? Jarvis, yes. you wrote the question. You get to answer first. Yes, <laughs> yes I believe in it. And yes, I want to be married. Um, but? It has to be the right person and the right connection. I think a lot of times um, we get married for the wrong reasons, you know, Um and like I said before, a lot of with men, we're so um, visual that we a lot of times, are, you know, go for that ultra beautiful woman. But it may not be the right woman for us. But we but we love how she looks. Mm -hmm. But she may not be the best mother or she may not. If you enjoy food, she may not cook that well. You know, <laughs> but, you know, so I, I think that. Um, I think men, you know cherish marriage as well maybe not as much as as women initially mm -hmm. i think sometimes women um their mindset is where you know where's this going mm -hmm. are we going to marriage it has to be going somewhere right and i think a lot of times guys are we just want to date we want to get to know you before we can kind of even think about if it's going to go in a direction where it's something serious right or marriage okay and that, yeah. and that goes to how we condition uh -huh. as well you know men and women right you know right I heard this really brilliant, and I don't like. I'm sorry if I don't remember who said it, but it's like the fundamental problem with relationships is that um, men's primary dream is to be free, and women's primary dream is to be secure, and the two kind of go like this, and it makes some sense. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that make yeah, some yeah. sense, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you know the same thing that. Yeah, yeah can I can I speak to that? I think that I think that you could find a common ground in that though. I think if you could find a wife, you know, say you settle down, get the house, have kids, um, but yet she gives you the space that you need, I think you can kind of you can find the common ground in that. I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. so, so she gets her feelings of security, security, and you get your feelings of independence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Josh, um, can I pass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, no, I just don't have a good answer. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you set the I'm bar like, high um, with that last yeah. answer, right? We just don't want to go down from there. Can't go down all the time. <laughs> I got another yeah, one. I, have <laughs> <laughs> I did have a listener question, actually. Um, and. It's from Anne, and she said, I didn't know if we were going to have time to do this, but I think we do have, here we go. She says, I have 15 questions, no. <laughs> but, but no, no, <laughs> she, she says, um, what is that elusive spark? Why is it sometimes non-existent with someone that on paper seems just right? And why is it off the charts with others? Or why is it sometimes one-sided? Have you found that? Have you found that you the ones that you really really like are not interested in you, and the ones that are really really interested in you you do not like? Have you, is that like common? I've come across that. Yeah, isn't that? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've come across it a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anne, you're not alone. No. So she's not alone. so that's so so again, and it's and it's one of those. So do you? give up do you stop trying do you you know just think there's a, no it's no. just you just haven't met a match yet that's all and uh, balance that with if you're looking for a hundred percent you'll find zero if you're looking for 88 percent you'll find it mm. yeah 
I think if you find the match, I think that's the important thing match. because if you find that match, there's going to be that spark. You're going to mm-hmm. be like, oh my gosh, this is what I was looking mm-hmm. for. Mm-hmm. So I think it's you're right. It's really about that person because sometimes people seem like they should get along, but they're really not. What that person doesn't really please them, and the other way around, they're yeah. kind of like uh, that guy. He kind of turns me on because he, I like the way he handles things. But he, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like yeah, you know. Everybody likes somebody different, so it's having that what, you know, turns on the other guy or gets that spark, you know, to the, the other partner. Yeah, that that spark. So, what could a girlfriend, wife, or partner do that would cause you to pull away from her, outside of cheating? <laughs> uh, respect is a big thing. I know respect. When they don't respect you, like Jarvis said, a man likes to be respected. Okay. So, if you have a woman that gives you respect alone, how do they do that? How do they do that? What? How do you feel respected? Listen up, um, women. I guess behavior around other people, maybe. You could totally, you know, show that you have respect for your man or not. You know, like, I don't know of a good example, but... Um, Jimmy? Uh, take care of themselves. I really think that when you even know that you're in a relationship, you still take care of yourself as out of respect for your spouse or, you know what I mean? So Some people, gaining 50 pounds and letting yourself go just... No more spark. Yeah, that's just. I mean, honestly, it's gonna. It's, it's gonna. It's gonna Twenty pounds. Spark. Twenty spark. pounds. Yeah. Ten. Ten pounds. Like, is there any? Because that's a big one. I mean, that's really a tough thing. Because I've heard too that you know, if you, you you have to love your woman no matter what size she is, and if she was big at one point, you know, she may get back to that big. So you you know, that's one thing that you have to have realistic expectations on. And for the women. The, wherever the guy is career wise and if they are not you know motivated to do more than what they are and you're not okay with that it's ain't gonna change and you know you can't go to the tractor for milk so if you keep trying to expect something different is that is that about I just it just giving it effort you know I mean I understand that there's things that babies we can't do yeah you know when you have babies it's a little more yeah difficult. I understand that you yeah. know but as long as you're just giving it effort you know mm-hmm. to try to that's, stay yeah I think looking. that's a great point because if you know the, the girl's not taking care of herself and then you know the man is outside in the world seeing all these girls who are taking care of themselves it's like you know that's where like you say maybe the cheating thing might come in for some guys or something like that but but possibly but, but, but to be i think fair, it does it does it does make a difference i'm just saying for guys right. it does make a difference for but, us. but but where's that line where you know we're never going to be younger again mm-hmm. we're never going to look like we used to so where is the guy's loyalty so to speak on not trading you in for a younger hotter version I don't think we trade question. them in, but I'm just saying if you want to keep the spark, that's something definitely that is a good tip that I think guys okay. would agree that would okay. help. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to throw this out there because honestly, if you're with somebody for six years, you start to get tired of that person. You know, I mean, it happens a lot. I'm going to throw it out there. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's not, not necessarily, you know, it's it, guys and girls do it. But I'm if I'm with, the, you know, this first six months was amazing, maybe a year amazing. Six years later down the road, you know, I might not feel the same. And that's what, you know, it's because we get too comfortable. Mm-hmm. And that's why guys go, you know, cheat or, you know, break up. So the seven-year itch is real? I think so, Okay, yes. so yeah. and it, so does that speak to that the relationship has just run its course? And it's just time for someone else? I don't think that. No, I think if it's if you have to keep it interesting, you know, and give it effort like we were talking about. I mean, if you're not like giving an effort or like keeping things interesting, doing things together, if you're just going home, watching TV on the couch, take care of the kids, put them in school, you know, go to work, come home. Hey, you know that that anybody will get tired of that mm-hmm. man or woman. Mm-hmm. So I think you really have to try Good keep point. it interesting. Good point. There's your answer of the show. <laughs> 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 and we're almost out of time yeah, uh, we'll go well I, I wanted to give my two cents yes uh, please. the respect I think one of the major things that women can do is listen what listen what listen <laughs> <laughs> I don't like listen. that word yeah listen listen <laughs> 
it's very important mm-hmm. that your man feels that you respect him and respect what he says. Mm-hmm. Um, so listening, just listening, uh-huh. you know, not, not interrupting, what? allowing him to fully express <laughs> that thought. You know, a lot of times women, uh, because of the nature of women, they want to help. Right. So, so you may ask a guy a question. And he's thinking of the answer. He's taking his time. But the woman to jump in and say, oh, okay, well. And she tries to answer it for him. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes that's frustrating. It feels like, okay, well, I, I can answer the question. Just uh, give allow me, me to some answer. Time. Right. And so sometimes what happens is men, we will look at that as a as disrespect. Mm-hmm. You know, I've seen women engage and they can go back and forth and they can cut each other off and it's not a problem. But you don't really see men do that. If a man, if he's talking, I, I'll, I'll fall back and let him finish. We don't kind of go back and forth. And if we do, it'll be a situation that we feel like, I feel like, okay, he's disrespecting me. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we take that same thing into a relationship as well. You mm-hmm. know? So when women, and women are, I guess, used to doing that with each other. Mm-hmm. And so they don't look at it that way when they're cutting the man off and so forth. Right. They yeah. just think it's a regular conversation, but it's, it's not. We look at it like, okay, well, geez, you're not really wanting to hear what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You, know, you want me to hear what you're saying, but you're not respecting me enough. And so, and he may not say that to that woman. He may not say that, but he's internalizing that. Feeling that that way. And it's gonna come out and affect the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's probably very uh, good to know now that more and more women are more and more independent and are in positions of power where they weren't in positions of power before. So that is, that's a tip for successful women. Listen to your man and don't interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm single. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, okay, one last question here. What one piece of advice can you give that you think can help women to understand men better? That'll be your closing anything you already gave yours just now so i would say ask ask us questions i mean we're, we're open i mean just ask us you know we're simple creatures just let us you know what's going on just tell us tell mm. us you know that's what, yeah. that's what i think yeah okay cool yeah the same thing we're very simple just ask <laughs> us talk to that. us and you will you know yeah but we do we uh-huh. say, what are you thinking? And you say, nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> very true. and there you very have true, it. We're going to um, need to have another oh, panel yeah. show. <laughs> I knew Jarvis is not. We're going to work know, at I, looking at I got looking. something. We just don't. The the process for women is like complicated, like a big old machine, this mm-hmm. and that. And ours is just. Yeah, it really dead. might be yeah. nothing. So. Yeah, they've done <laughs> studies on that, actually. They put electrodes and. For men, if they're solving a problem, it goes ka-ching, 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 in one area of your lobe. And for women, it goes ka-ching, ka-ching, <laughs> all over. And that's just the way, you know, mm-hmm. that's why it's difficult to distract you from your one thing that you're focused on. And it's very difficult for us to focus, you know. Yeah. So so there you go. That is differences. And um, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for having us. And representing the men <laughs> on Sexual Healing with Dr. Marissa. The new Asian Dr. Oprah. Um, No, the new (laughs) Asian Dr. Ruth. (laughs) Okay, so here we are. um, Balance bar time. Health to Wealth Expo. I am keynote speaker of, uh, and there's a picture coming up June 18th. So please do go to abaoie.org to get more information or just come to my Facebook and I post everything that I'm doing. Uh, 21 Day Fast from Complaining is day two today. The balance tip for today is never miss an opportunity to keep your mouth shut. And if you haven't joined already, go to fourbalance.org and uh, you'll have a way to sign up so you can win my 52 card pick me up stacking the deck for life balance if you make it all 21 days in a row without complaining. Uh, And we have next week a call in show with uh, the kinder, gentler Dr. Laura, that's me. And then Brother Ishmael from Ghana is going to be talking about creative wealth after that. Then, then next month, Child Awareness Month with Dr. Rita, author of Not What I Expected Parenting, a special needs child so stay tuned to take my advice i'm not using it get balanced with dr marissa pay that's p for positive ei remember it's all about balance peace in and peace out